Hey everyone, the Great Dino Ranger here again, back with another video. Uh, today will be a review, but it'll also be a special unboxing, packaging um, review. So this is either, it either could be two things or probably just one of the two things I've got with a $30 Amazon gift card. Um, so we're going to wait to see who it is. Uh, so we're going to unbox this package and whatever we get we're also going to do a review of all right so i just got this just right about now so i had to rev um had to do a review on it so we are going to take an o uh open this with my trusty scissors which are sharp as heck so i don't have i don't have or own a knife so the better unboxing videos have knives Alrighty. So, ah, uh, yes. It appears that I got both of the things I wanted. So, two of them came at the same time. How great is that? Alright. So, first, out of the box, we have, I'm pretty sure you already saw, we have the Jurassic World Dino Rivals Velociraptor Delta. Yes, my first. Dino Rivals uh, toy. So this is really, really, really nice. So I'm just, in this case, since I got two, why don't we just take a look and review both things? So we got De Lost Rapper Delta, and then next out of my box is another Jurassic World figure, and we got, uh, look at that, Zia Rodriguez. the last figure I needed for the Fallen Kingdom line, at least for this year. So there we go. We got two things in the mail. And what we are going to do is we're going to take a look at both of them. So we're going to take a look at the human first and then the dinosaur. So starting off, we're going to take a look at Zia. So this is an unexpected video. I thought there would only be one in the package, but this is okay too. So let's take a look at the package real quick. Um, so here we got Owen and Blue, and we got the word Zia and Triceratops, little Triceratops. Um, there she is in the package, along with her little medic pack and the little Triceratops. The cool cage in the background, the logo, the volcano exploding in the background. There's the other side. Here's the back, a bunch of boring stuff. There's a Mattel logo. Um, and here we got all three of these figures, which I do have, so I have completed the whole thing. So now, let's get this character out of the box. Oh, and this one was already pretty loose. All right. And put that to the side. Alrighty, so here they are. Now we're going to take them out. Alright, so we'll go over um, with the figure first. So, here is Zia Rodriguez in the flesh. So, first thoughts, this is awesome. I'm glad they made a figure of her. I know she wasn't really that much of an important character, or not many fans really liked her, but I like any Jurassic Park character, as long as it's in a Jurassic movie, and as long as they make a figure of it. Besides, she went to the island, so might as well make a figure of her, right? Um, so, let's go over the main paint job. Here we go, we can get close view of the 
face. It looks decent. It looks um oh it looks just like her. This would pass to be her. Um with her short hair, which is painted in a really dark brown, her red glasses, her lips are painted perfect, her eyes are good. It's a really good figure actually. Um good color. Um I like the jacket. This is pretty much her jacket when she first got onto the plane and when she got off. The whole movie is with her with no jacket. They could have done it without her jacket, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. So it's done in this really dark olive type green. And then you got like a really kind of like a dark mustardy yellow with the, uh, that little picture. Which I, I don't know what it was. If any of you guys know... Um, Please let me know in the comments, or I'll just have to wait till I see the movie again to identify what that was. But it's either like some sort of dragon, or chicken, or something on there. Um, hands are painted really good. And here are her dark blue pants. Very nice. Or I guess you can say sweatpants in this case. And then her red shoes with the black or the dark blue bottoms very good sculpting detail on them and also her watch is really good so yeah it's a pretty good figure articulation wise her head can turn all the way 360 and just like all the other figures arms can pivot up and down side to side elbow joints um, this one does have a working waist legs can go up and down uh well this one yeah this leg is kind of hard i'm not you guys can kind of see yeah that one when plastic turns white it just means it's getting bending it's bending too far that's exactly what this knee joint is so if i were to bend it too far her leg would come off actually both of them are like that she can't really bend them that well they're kind of stiff or in this case if i pull them too hard they're gonna break which is okay um, I just have to be extra careful. Not sure if any of you guys had the same thing. But yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. I love the figure. Otherwise, it's A plus for me. Very good figure. So now, we're going to be taking a look at her little dinosaur that it came with. This little one-piece plastic triceratops, which I'm sure is the same one from that big Walmart pack the battle damage mini dino pack it's the same exact one um but it's okay be better if it would like be like a new newly um hatchling that mattel could have made um but that's okay but otherwise it looks pretty good the detail is really good too not very much paint only like two different types of paints horns and then the whole body lots of good skin detail though Lots and even on the bottom there's like a bunch of wrinkles make it look real The head's got a couple of wrinkles and lots of lines and big scales Yeah, it's a solid piece not really much to go over, but it's pretty nice Now is her little medic pack and I can already see This is gonna be just like Wheatley's pack where it's supposed to snap in but it's kind of loose so taking a look outside, there's the red cross symbolizing it's like a medic pack. Um, same type of patterning on both sides, just different colors. Uh, the package is just an overall white with some red. Here's a little cord that comes from it. Red cord with a little attachment, whatever you call that. So, and there's a handle, which, let's see should be able for her to hold um, now we're gonna take we're gonna open this if it can yep ooh very stiff that's good I like that which means it'd be harder for it to flop open when kids are playing with it you know all right so this one has a load of load of things so down here I assume that these are like uh, blood 
bags, kind of like what they did in Fallen Kingdom when they had like a big bag of just blood. I'm assuming that's what it could be. Um, then they got a couple of antidotes in there, maybe? I don't know. And at the top, they got a first aid kit and a couple of, uh, oh, what's the word? What's the word? But they, they're like shots looking, looking devices. So that's cool. It's just a little accessory. You could always go for some accessories, especially in a Jurassic Park um, toy line. So this can close. And oh my gosh, it closes all the way. It doesn't snap. Just because it's so stiff, it just stays there. Yes. That's good. This is something that I would really like. And I'm pretty sure this could attach to a little dinosaur leg. Yep, look at that. So I'm wait, so I'm assuming if it goes on to this little dinosaur, this could be actually an actual hatchling just with oversized horns maybe. Yeah, but it looks really nice. Really nice. So here she is along with all of the other figures of the Fallen Kingdom movie line. I know there's some Owens and uh, a Claire that's missing, but these are just the main characters of Fallen Kingdom. So here they are, and I know we're missing um, Franklin, which um, is coming out this year, hopefully. Um, not the Dino Rivals line, but probably the line after that, you know, because where else are you going to get that Indominus Rex toy that is rumored to come out, right? So... That's review of Zia. Next up, we are going to be taking a look at the Jurassic World Dino Rivals Velociraptor Delta. First Dino Rivals, and I'm super excited for this. Really, I am. Uh, it just gets me excited about the new toys for Dino Rivals that are coming out, which are supposed to come out first thing Sunday, probably. I'm probably going to go like sometime next week to the store and maybe get a couple so let's gonna take a look let's take a look at this brand new packaging so down here we got ages three up here we got the um dino rivals logo which looks awesome here we got the ferocious tyrannosaurus rex facing the mighty triceratops as they are dino rivals here we got owen which some people complain why is owen there he shouldn't be there. It'd be better if it was just Dino Rivals. I agree. Um, I'm okay with it. You know, just guess it. You know, gives it a sense that it's Jurassic. So, and Velociraptor Delta collector card included, which I am super stoked about. Here we can see the new bubble wrapping, which is saving a lot more space. It actually just like lays on top of the dinosaur instead of just being like this big box. That'd be in, so that's cool. The background is in like this really cool fiery background with a little bit of black and red of the T-Rex logo in the background along with the plain Jurassic World logo. Um, here's the bottom. And here's behind a bunch, a bunch of stuff on this side. Um, bunch of descriptions, Jurassic Facts app. This is the attack pack assortment. So here we got the Protoceratops, Delta, which I have, Drake Rex, and Ramphorhynchus. These I assume this is first wave of the Dino Rivals. So that's cool. Still, I'm going to be on the lookout for those. So let's get this guy out of its package. First Dino Rivals, guys. This is amazing and let's see Whoops. oh and there's the card uh the card all right so i'm gonna oh so this is a two part so this goes over there take out the dinosaur can keep that in there I'll keep that 
one or two. I'm going to take out the collector card. All right, I'm going to take out the card, guys, and I'll be right with you in the moment. All right, guys, I got the dinosaur and the card out of its package. So first off, we're going to take a look at the card. Here is the collector card, very skinny and flimsy and very light. Uh, but I love the way these are, especially that they're making so many cool dinosaurs with them. Um, it'd be really cool. It's like almost like video game style. Um, what else was I gonna say? And like, I guess the artwork and the um, the the card and the facts just makes it video game like, like I said before, and almost like a really cool, fun card game that you can also use with your actual toys. Thought that was pretty cool. So at the top we got Velociraptor Delta, and here we got this pretty sweet artwork. Some people don't like it. They're like. Oh, uh, it's too cartoony. This is not Jurassic Park. Yeah, in fact, dinosaurs are kind of like detailed like that. And cartoony, I prefer to be Jurassic. So, here she is. Based off of the blue render that's been floating around since uh, we first heard of Fallen Kingdom. Really good artwork. This is like comic book style artwork. So good. And in the background, there's trees. There's like a maintenance building in the background there. It's like a color of like an orange and yellow together. And here at the bottom, we got some stats. So we got seven for strength, nine for speed, 10 for smarts, and nine for damage. And then we got a little Jurassic logo right there and then total of 35 which is actually pretty high um, the highest is smarts which is obviously duh it's a velociraptor next would be damage and speed raptors don't have very much strength which is technically true so and then in the back of the card just has dino rivals jurassic world and then a bunch of stuff at the bottom and the background kind of reminds me of the background for dress park 3 the original DVD cover case. Kind of like the metallic color. So that's really cool. Yeah, really good, really good card. Plan on getting more. <laughs> Alright, now let's take a look at the dinosaur herself. Blue in the... I mean... <laughs> sorry guys. Meant Delta in the flesh. Now, a lot of people have, compl have been complaining about this a lot. That... These are mainly the colors of Echo. Just kind of like that yellowish, um, orangish color with like blue stripes that all over her. This is like an Echo coloring, but they call it Delta. Now I've been looking at so many Delta renders, like saying, okay, where are they getting that color from? Um, but no, Delta is really like a dark greenish, blackish color. But they say it's Delta, so I'm calling it Delta. Just until they do the other Raptors, which I sure hope they do. And you know what? It actually makes sense that they made Delta next, because perhaps it could be because Delta is Blue's second in command. So that's really cool. So we're going to take a look at detail first and paint job. So <laughs> obviously, this is the very exact same sculpt as the female Raptors of the attack pack size of Blue. So there's been so many of them. So here's the face. Very slightly good detail on the mouth. The eyes painted good. Good amount of detail, especially on top of the head. I love how they did that. There's so many good scales there. If only my camera can focus. Maybe, maybe not. Well, anyway, you can kind of see there. there's like a lot of scale detail. You can see the nostrils very clearly on this side. Oh, there you go. See, look at all that detail. Really good. Same right here. Very good detail. Good eye color. 
open her mouth. Good detail inside. The coloring. Teeth are painted good. Um, the neck has some good, you know, coloration of the yellowish mustard color and the purplish blue, which is really nice. Has a bunch of wrinkles all over it, especially towards the bottom. Moving on to the body, lots of texture and detail along with the same coloration. Um, the arms are muscular. No painted claws like most of the attack packs. Yeah, her arms are stiff. They're not so flimsy like the other ones. I love... Um, I just used the word. I really, really love these um, stiff toys. Just means like there it's less chance of actually breaking them. That's really nice. The legs. Very, very good. And the feet, the toe claws. It's a scan code if you guys want it. More detail towards the back here. And along the tail, lots of good wrinkles. Yeah, really nice, even on the other side. Good musc muscular, muscular sculpts in there. So it's really good. The paint job is really nice. Just like most of them, they don't go all the way to the tail. But it, uh, yeah, it looks really nice articulation wise. You know, the same as usual jaw, the arms. The legs, which are stiff, which I love. They're stiff right now, and then when you can move them a lot, then they become less stiff. So yeah, this raptor is really, really nice. Give it an A plus for that one too. So here's Delta right next to blue which is the same exact sculpt but first but we got two out of the four raptors for Owen's pack and here we'll even throw in a Owen in there so that's good now we just need Mattel to make a Echo and a Charlie so I hope you guys love this video loved opening the package I'm kind of a little disappointed that it's over already so hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys had a good day and see you guys again for another um dinosaur review.